Imagine being an artist dedicated to painting and feeling that you are gradually losing your sight. How would you feel? It would surely be one of the worst sensations you could experience, as with each passing moment, every brushstroke you make becomes a step towards that perpetual darkness brought on by losing your vision. For us, it is difficult to describe this feeling. However, Claude Monet, one of the most important painters of the 20th century, suffered the tragedy of losing his sight while being devoted to painting. In this video, we will explore the irony of being a painter renowned for the use of colours, who, sadly, in his later years, had to battle blindness that gradually transformed his style. Let's begin. Claude Monet was born in Paris in 1840 and died in Giverny in 1926. He was the leading exponent of the Impressionist movement. His painting focused on the importance of texture, light and brushstrokes, aiming to capture the dynamic change of the landscape depending on perspective and light. He resolved his paintings with a dramatic tonal contrast that eliminated intermediate tones, defining his extensive artistic career. We can divide Monet's painting into three distinct phases. An initial phase where the artist focused on everyday motifs with a realistic approach. A second stage in which Monet developed a new current, Impressionism, and a third phase towards the end of his life, where he focused on depicting the gardens of his home in Giverny using different techniques and forms. It is in this third stage that the paradox arises, as during this time Monet had to evolve from Impressionism to a brushstroke closer to abstraction due to his eagerness to explore new forms of pictorial expression conditioned by his visual impairment. According to an experiment conducted by an American scientist, Claude Monet, the father of Impressionism, was not so much nearing abstraction in this final stage of his life, but rather resolving his paintings imprecisely simply because he suffered from cataracts. But the question is, to what extent can the blurred vision caused by cataracts distort reality? Before we continue with this research, I want to remind you that on our website, you can find the best selection of Impressionist paintings and of course, the finest Monet paintings, allowing you to purchase a faithful reproduction of the original artwork. I have added over 250 paintings to the catalogue, so you can choose the one you like the most and decorate your space with a historical piece of art of the highest quality. Shipping is completely free worldwide, so don't forget to check out the catalogue after finishing the video. I'll leave the link in the description. And as always, a big thank you to everyone who has already purchased their piece of art and sent me their photos. Thanks to you, it's possible to make these kinds of videos. Now, let's continue. This visual deficiency progressed over more than 10 years, and he never regained proper vision. Having cataracts is not exactly a disease, but rather normal changes in the eye caused by age, and the symptoms of this condition cause opaque, blurry, or dim vision. Having explained what cataracts are, we once again ask ourselves, is this the true cause of the indefiniteness of his brushstroke in the final stage of his life, or as art scholars claim, is it the French painter's contribution to the transformation of abstract painting from a representational art? Monet is the father of the Impressionist movement and the figure to whom all kinds of fables are attributed. Among these legends, it is said that in this last stage of his life, he was not even able to recognize the color he was painting with. However, a certain sector of the critics claims that the new artistic conception developed by Monet in the series of the Japanese bridge or the water lilies at the end of his long artistic journey brought him closer to a more expressive and gestated abstraction. Thus, from the second half of the 20th century, scholars of his art demonstrate Monet's importance in the tradition of the new and present him as a precursor of abstraction. They point out that through the layering of paint, sometimes thick and rough, other times thin and fluid, Monet developed what Robert Herbert calls texture strokes. These strokes may simply indicate an apparent quickness in application, but in reality, they reveal a systematic method of execution. And why not? A deliberate abstraction through a deep reflection on the pictorial process. 
Based on this description by scholars of his art, it is understood that Claude Monet's permanent obsession with capturing the immediacy of light led him to blur pictorial representation and practically to the doors of abstraction. However, according to research from the Stanford University Medical Center in the United States, a study conducted by Michael Marmer, a professor of ophthalmology at this university, shows that Claude Monet's paintings were not intended to change style at the end of his life and move towards abstraction, but rather he suffered from an age-related visual deficiency. In his research, he recreated the images that the artist could see through his eyes, affected by cataracts using a computer, working with a system of filters and relying on documents from the era. Marmer argues that Monet's style changes in his last years were not a move towards abstract or expressionist art, as many art critics defend, but were due to the ocular conditions that affected his eyes with age. According to the chronologically described history, this started in 1908 with the first symptoms of his ocular pathology. In 1911, he was widowed from his second wife, Alice, and a year later in 1912, at the age of 72, he was diagnosed with cataracts, but ophthalmologists advised waiting until they had fully developed before undergoing surgery. In a letter he wrote to his friend and French writer Gustave Geoffroy, he wrote, Troubles do not leave me. Now it's my eyes that are failing. Three days ago, when I started to work, I checked with horror that I saw nothing with my right eye. I dropped everything to see a specialist who confirmed that I had a cataract in one eye and that the other was slightly damaged. Although they told me that it was not serious and that I would see as before after the operation, I am very worried and anxious. However, at this time, his visual acuity did not pose many difficulties for painting or for his daily life. It was from 1914, and more specifically 1915, when Monet's eye problems worsened. Monet himself explained it this way. The colors no longer had the same intensity for me. The reds began to muddle. My painting became darker and darker. Between 1919 and 1922, Monet feared he might stop painting. He only painted during certain hours, when the lighting was optimal and he was very aware that colours were lost due to the lack of definition in the yellow colour of his vision, making his garden seem severely monotonous. Monet agreed to the cataract operation on his right eye, which was carried out in 1923 when he was 82 years old. The operation was complicated and he never agreed to operate on his left eye, but he returned to work fully with his aphakic lens. Therefore, he decided to correct it with glasses with thick lenses of about 10 diopters, which were curiously auctioned in 2017 by Christie's Auction House. These vision problems in the last stage of his life would explain the transformation of his style over the years. In this comparison, we can see how the famous painting, The Japanese Bridge, painted in 1899 at the age of 59, is completely different from another painted in 1923 at the age of 82. It is profoundly paradoxical that an artist like Claude Monet, whose work celebrated the vivid interaction of light and colour, suffered from a visual disability that progressively robbed him of his sight. However, facing this adversity, Monet continued to paint until his last days. This unwavering dedication allowed us to witness a remarkable evolution in his art, from the vibrant strokes of Impressionism to the abstract forms that emerged as his vision deteriorated. Monet's journey is a testament to the resilience of the creative spirit, highlighting how limitations can inspire profound transformation and an enduring legacy. And that's the video for today. I would love to hear your opinion about this painter and whether you share the scientific view that his style transformed due to his visual difficulties or if he deliberately moved towards abstraction. I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end and as always I would appreciate it if you leave a like if you found it interesting and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Remember, in the description, you'll find a link to the store where you can buy your favorite Monet painting and my social media links where I usually post additional content from the videos. See you soon. Bye.